Hello and glorious day to our brethren from the nations all over. You are listening to the Rhapsody of Realities by Pastor Chris Oyahilome. And today, on the 17th of February, he has such a glorious message for the sons of God. And it is titled, Examine What You Hear. The theme verse is read from 1 John chapter 4, verse 1 in the Message Translation. It says, My dear friends, don't believe everything you hear. Carefully weigh and examine what people tell you. Not everyone who talks about God comes from God. There are a lot of lying preachers loose in the world. There are those who quote Romans chapter 13 verse 1 and assume they should do whatever they are told to do as long as the one giving such instructions is a person of authority. They would say, he's a renowned leader, therefore he must be speaking the truth. But that is not how it works. First, let us review that scripture properly. It says, Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. This is from Romans chapter 13, verse 1. Our opening verse tells us to test the spirits. That's why you don't just run with or do whatever you're told by just anybody. Examine where that authority is coming from. It could be from Satan, so you have to be careful. God can choose a leader and the leader can go rogue against God. The scriptures is replete with examples of those that went against God, even though they were chosen of God. Let's take the story of King Saul as a case study. In 1 Kings chapter 15, Samuel the prophet gave very definite instructions to King Saul. He was to go to war against Amalek and destroy everything connected to them, with no exceptions. Saul went out as instructed and had the victory. He utterly destroyed all that was despised and worthless, but spared what he deemed choice and valuable. Not only did he spare Agag the king, he also spared the best of the sheep and oxen and all that was good. What was God's response? He said to Samuel the prophet in 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 11 in the Amplified Classic Translation, I regret making Saul king, for he has turned back from following me and has not performed my commands. This shows that not every leader listens to God or wants to do what is right. Subject all things to the light of God's word. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 21 says, Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Just because you feel good about what someone of authority told you does not mean it was from God. Always remember that God's word is the supreme authority by which we judge all things. Hallelujah! Also to the leaders, it is important you listen to God, find out what He wants and do His will, refuse to compromise, examine your policies to be sure they are good for God and for people. Praise the Lord! Those are words of wisdom and as children of God, we are not ignorant to the devices of the devil. Hallelujah! Now wherever you are, kindly repeat this prayer after me. Dear Father, I consciously weigh every instruction against the truth of the word, irrespective of who gives it. I refuse to go contrary to your orders, which gives life, light, direction, and purpose to me. My steps are ordained by you through the word and your spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. In our further study section today, we have scriptures from the book of Matthew chapter 7 verses 15 to 16 and 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 13 to 15. So be sure to receive all that the Spirit of God has for you in your time of meditating on the Word. Glory to God! The Bible says in the last days are perilous times and God's people ought to stay saturated in the truth of God's Word despite all the voices that we hear in the world today. One way to do so is to keep yourself informed through these daily devotionals which you can download from the link in our description. 
When you are set, get others to describe in with you. Share these videos. Share the word of God to all those in your sphere of contact. Like our videos and comment in the section below to encourage other fellow viewers about your testimonies. Keep that fire burning and continue to abound in the work of the Lord in love. Hallelujah! We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com That's tni.msia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.